Dudes, it's me, Metal Dude! Seriously! Hey dudes, what's up? I bet you were expecting to see that bald dude. Today, you got Metal Dude. Bald Dude called me like a little bit earlier and he was like, Dude, I'm kind of busy today and I don't really have time to do the guitar review on uh, this guitar here. And he was like, Dude, could you do it for me? And I was like, Seriously? And he was like, yeah, seriously. And I was like, cool. And he also said he'd buy me a bean burrito later. So I don't know exactly like what this guitar is or where it came from. So I guess I'll just like talk about it and then like do some shredding on it and then just like give my final thoughts on it. But before we do that, dudes, I gotta point something out. There was a bit of what you might call like a mishap. You guys see the strap button down here on the back? Yeah, if you look closely, you can see it's like pushed into the body. Now I'm a little worried about that because bald dude was like, dude, whatever you do, don't damage the guitar or break it or mess it up in any way. And dude, it's not even really my fault. Cause see, like what happened was like, I was downstairs, right? Got my coffee cup here, my official metal dude coffee cup. See, check it out, pretty cool, right? Oh, by the way, that uh, scar dude, made it for me. Yeah, pretty cool, right? I think that means we're like best friends or something now. Although, he never returns my text messages, so I don't know. Anyway, dudes, I was like downstairs, right? And I've got the guitar in one hand, got the coffee cup in the other hand, and then like, there's the bottle of Mountain Dew. Well, dudes, I don't have three hands, right? So without even really thinking about it, I let go of the guitar, and you know what happened. It hit the tile on the floor, and that jam the strap button up into the body of the guitar. But dudes, I got a solution. This is gonna take care of it right here. All right, dudes, fixed. He's never even gonna know the difference. Okay, dude, so this is what they call like a telecaster guitar. I don't even know what telly means other than like, it rhymes with jelly. And overall, it's like a really weird and odd guitar. Like, I don't even know what the point of this guitar is. Cause like if a guitar, isn't meant for like shredding metal. Like what's the point, seriously? And it's got this weird bridge on here and I'm pretty sure this bridge is called a trim hole cover bridge. And what happens dudes is like originally it had one of those whammy bars, right? Cause I did this before, this happened to me many years ago. It's got the whammy on there and then like, you know, you're trying to do like one of your rock star moves and you're holding the guitar up by the whammy, right? So all the pressure and all the weights on the whammy. Well, I was doing that and guess what happened, dude? The whole whammy bridge just ripped out of the guitar and left a huge chunk. Well, it didn't leave a chunk. The chunk came out and it left a huge hole. So I think like on all these like cheap tele guitars, that's what ends up happening. Maybe at the factory when they're building it, the whole thing just rips out and they're like, dudes, what are we gonna do now? There's a big hole in the top of the guitar where the bridge was. Oh, I know, we'll get one of these whammy hole covering bridges and stick it on there, problem solved. But then it's got like this single coil pickup which is like embedded in the bridge. I don't understand that either cause like single coil pickups are basically worthless and then you've got it in the bridge and stuff. I mean, just what's going on there dudes? The only little bit of saving grace dudes is the other single coil pickup is made of metal. Okay, that's cool, metal. I like metal and I think because it's a metal pickup, it's gonna sound better when you play the metal, like the shredding metal. That's probably what it was designed for. So really, they should probably have like that down here and then like five of them in the middle so they can get ultimate metal. All right dudes, I'm gonna play this guitar. You guys can see if I can do some like shredding metal on it or not. Then I'll talk about it more after that. Let me just give you a little warning, a little disclaimer here dudes. Like if I don't play super awesome during the demo portion, um, it's basically the fault of the guitar. <laughs>
Alright dude, so I played it, not bad right? I mean, it's kind of hard for me to not play like seriously awesome, but wasn't my best playing probably, but that's due to the action on this piece of junk. Look at the action, it's crazy high. I mean, dudes, I haven't seen this much action since I was backstage at a Motley Crue concert in 1986. Now I kind of like the color, dudes, cause it's like a mint green, and it reminds me of like mint chocolate chip ice cream, and that's one of my favorite flavors, but it's missing the chocolate chip, so it's just like mint ice cream. I don't know if that would taste any good without the chocolate chips. Probably not. Wait. Yep, I just had an idea. Dudes, check it out. Mint chocolate chip. I feel like having some ice cream now. All right, dudes, so the controls, you know, it's got a tone knob. I don't even know what you need that for. Volume knob, uh, what do you even need that for? It's just like, you know, you keep the volume at 11 all the time. Why would you even ever dial it back? I don't understand. Then you've got your uh, pickup thingy, my bobber here, you know, like, one, two, one, wait, one, two, three, four. No, I already counted that one. One, two, three spots, right, dudes? But it's got this like huge, gigantic thing on the top of the switch. I don't know what that's for. Is that like dudes with really big fat fingers and they have trouble grabbing that switch? I don't know, doesn't make sense to me. And then like, I don't know what's going on with the headstock. Like there was some kind of mishap when they were cutting the headstock and the dude with the little saw was like, oops, slipped and cut way in. Cause it's like missing a lot of the wood on the headstock and it just looks weird. Okay, that's pretty much it dude. So I don't know what bald dude's gonna do with this guitar. I mean, he's probably gonna like it a lot better since I put the chocolate chips on there. You know, I mean that definitely makes it a lot cooler so. I don't know, maybe he'll give it to me. But I don't really want it because it's pretty much a piece of crap. All right, dudes, I hope you enjoyed the first official guitar review by Metal Dude. Yeah, later, dudes. Metal Dude. Oh, hey, guys. I, I bet you thought this video was over. But no, it's not over because I need to announce the winner of the Dean Guitar Giveaway. And yes, this is the Dean guitar that I sent to Sean at Scar My Guitar. It was pretty messed up and he fixed it all up, put Seymour Duncan pickups in it, a new bridge, fixed the neck, and it was it's playing and sounding pretty awesome now. So we're giving this guitar away to one of you guys and it's courtesy of me as well as Sean. We really need to thank Sean because he's the one that put in all the work on this guitar. And I want to thank everybody that watched the last video, all the new subscribers, everybody that left a comment, and the people that went back to Sean's video and watched that and subscribed and left a comment there. It's a ton of people. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. But before I draw the name, guys, just remember, I've got one guitar that I'm giving away here, only one. And what that means is there's gonna be one really happy, excited person, and then a whole bunch of like either mildly disappointed or like really annoyed people. But you know, that's the way it goes with giveaways. All right, as Sean would say, enough lip flapping, let's get to it. Let's draw the winner. Here we go. I'm just gonna randomly pull out a piece of paper and see whose name is on it. All right, got one in my hand. Here we go, here we go. And the winner is Dust Red Laser. If you are Dust Red Laser, you need to send me an email so we can connect and I can get your information and send you the guitar. Send an email to me at richardjamesguitar at gmail.com, all lowercase richardjamesguitar at gmail.com. Send me that email and we'll get this figured out. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.